Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Jackson County, Georgia, with a brand new frauditor by that goes by the name of North North Georgia Audits, and he believes it is his absolute right to film anywhere and any place, even if it's a restricted area, I suppose. So that's why he's here at the local prison, because, well, he is just completely misguided and suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this moron end up in handcuffs. So we're going to start this video a little bit early here um, because I've already been threatened with arrest by the warden of this prison that's run by the county um, because I came up here and, and audited the other day. Called to tell them they should at least have a restricted access sign there because I could walk all the way down there. All the way down there I could walk because there's no restricted access signs. There's no restricted access signs anywhere on this property. You know? You know, he's right. There are no restricted access signs on that fence as far as I can see. But you know what? The fact that it's a big, tall fence with razor wire on it should be indicative of a high security area that they may not want you in, you blubbering buffoon. I mean, there are no uh, signs on your say, a stove that say, warning, hot, don't touch the burners. I mean, that's just common damn sense right there, dumbass. Um, I guess until you get inside. But when I called to talk to them about the incident that happened where they called the cops and the cops upheld their my, 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 my constitutional rights, he, the warden decided he was going to be on the phone and tell me if I came back on this property, I was going to get arrested. So here we are. Let's go get arrested. Again here, Jackson County Correctional Institute. Zoom in on that. This will be visitor parking where I'm parked. This again will be uh, blah blah blah. Your your subject search. Search what you want to. There's a designated smoking area. I don't see my dog out there today. Are you stupid or something? Inmate coordinator. We're looking for warden's truck. This is the warden's truck. This is the warden's truck. I don't know his name. This is the one that threatened me with the rest. This is his county fucking vehicle. Threatened me with the rest if I came back on this property to take another video after Jackson County Sheriff's Department said I had every right to be on public property. Here's the front entrance. And here they come. Took less than two minutes. Took less than two minutes. You need to uh, leave the premises. I'm not leaving the premises. Right, where's arrest the deputy him. at? Where's the deputy at? Go ahead and arrest him. Where's the sheriff's deputy at? Go ahead and put your hands right You're going to arrest me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. You just signed yourself a check? You think so? Yes, sir. Okay. You told him to leave. Yes, I did. He, he told me to leave. Right, Have I been trespassed? Have I been formally trespassed for one? No, I haven't. Where's the trespass form for one? Two, this is public fucking property. It, it, it is, not. is that still running? Please leave it running. It, it is not public. There you property. go. I appreciate that. Under USCGA 42517, it, it shall be unlawful for any person to loaf, linger, or stand around where inmates are employed or kept after having been ordered by the warden, superintendent, or designated, designated representative in charge of the inmates to desist. Does it apply to when you're on public property? Well, take it to court, dude, and uh, find out how wrong you are there because well uh prison property is not public property in fact prison property it had covers generally a wider area that they can control the in the uh, movement of the inmates and everything like that i mean the security fence that you see is just 
one layer of defense that they have. So you need to rethink what you're doing with your life, dude, before you head down the wrong road. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather short video, but it's pretty damn funny how stupid that these guys can be. So I will see you on the next one.